Kiteboarding in Europe can be an intimidating experience, but every once in a while you stumble upon a spot that makes you feel at home. There's a small fairy tale city in northern Portugal with a kite spot that will make your jaw drop. Today, we are checking out Viana de Castelo. My name is Crystal Vaness. Welcome to Destinations. Viana de Castelo is like this magical Portuguese village where the people are so kind and friendly, the food is amazing, and walking through the old city center feels like walking through a history book and a Disney story at the same time. And then there's the kite spot. Every step closer is that much more exciting, all the way from the parking lot, down the boardwalk, winding through this beautiful nature reserve, until you arrive to Viana Beach Center, which is your adventure home base while you're kiteboarding in this beautiful little bay. So we're going to give you all the need-to-know info on kiteboarding in Viana de Castelo and then we'll talk about everything else you need to know before you go. Viana's kiteboarding season goes from May until mid-October, though there are windy days outside of the season. If you want to make the most of your trip, plan to come between June and August, where you can expect at least 20 kiteable days of wind per month and tons of sunshine. Wind throughout the summer blows from about 15 to 35 knots on the average day, you can expect about a 20 to 30 knot wind range. So you definitely want to bring your small kites here because you will need them. There is a thermal wind effect here, which means that the forecast is often not very accurate, especially if the skies are clear. When it's a clear day, the wind is usually much stronger than is forecasted. If you're not sure what to expect and you want to get a read on the wind, you can reach out to the crew at Vienna Beach Center or the shop Vienna Locals for more information. Outside of summer, windy days are much less frequent and the conditions are a lot less favorable. You may not have any wind in the winter, so if you do have that warm wetsuit, you don't mind paddling out. This is a great place to surf in the winter months. And now summer weather. So Vienna is a windy coastal town, which means that you might want to bring some layers. When the wind isn't blowing, this is a picture-perfect European beach holiday, but obviously as kiteboarders, we would prefer it to be windy, so bring a jacket. Water temperature here, this is an Atlantic Ocean kiteboarding spot, so the water is quite cool, you definitely need a wetsuit. The ideal wetsuit is a 4-3. I was riding in a 3-2, which was actually quite chilly, but if you're not in the water that often, it's not so bad. If you're a beginner, you do want a warm wetsuit. If you don't happen to have a thick wetsuit in your kit, you can also rent one from the beach center on site. There are a few kite spots in and around the Vienna area, but the creme de la creme is Cabo de la Beach, which is where Vienna Beach Center is. So if this is your first time in the area, this is the best place to have the first session of your trip, if not every session. This picturesque bay is the water sports hub of Vienna. So depending on the day, you'll see kite surfers, wind surfers, suppers, or surfers out on the water. Now the wind here blows side shore, but towards the end of the bay it's more side onshore. The rock wall at the top of the beach creates an impressive flat water section, and when the swell is brewing, it also makes this perfect long right hand wave. If you're here for bigger waves, you can ride deeper in the bay towards the rocks. Now there's a couple more great kite spots within a 30 minute drive of Vienna, and that's Espazende, which is ideal for flat water conditions, and Mileto, which is perfect for wave riders. Now for more information on these two kite spots, click on the little eye in the corner of the video and you can get to our more detailed written spot guide. Cabadello Beach is a spot that works well for every level of kiteboarders and it's super beginner friendly. So there's a big sandy beach, a beachfront kite center, and a lovely curved bay with shallow water near the shoreline. It's perfect for kiteboarding lessons and for riders that are just getting on their feet. You will also encounter some incredible advanced riders, professional riders, and insanely talented locals that are throwing down when the wind is pumping. The beauty of this spot though is that whatever level you are, the local kite community here will welcome you with open arms. Riding style here is anything and everything. So free ride, freestyle, big air, directional, strapless freestyle, and foiling at mid or high tide. Depending on the tides, the swell conditions, and of course the strength of the wind, you will see different styles of kiteboarding take the lead. The wind is a little bit lighter here in the mornings and flatter, so this is perfect for freestylers and foilers. And when the wind is pumping in the afternoons, this is big air heaven. Of course, this place is well known for its swell, so directional riders will love the spot when the waves are working, and those that love a good ride will be stoked here. 
Vienna Beach Center has all of the facilities that a kiter might need. So if you forgot something or everything at home, you will have everything you need here. You have a beachfront lesson center for kiting, surfing, supping, windsurfing. There's gear rental and storage. There are air compressors, showers, bathrooms, Wi-Fi, a cafe with great food and cold beer, and a wonderful team of instructors and supporters that can help you if you need it. So literally anything you could think of that you might need, it's here. Cautions. There's not too much to worry about here at Cabadello Beach. There are some rocks in the middle of the bay, which you should probably avoid. Unless you like bigger swell, that's a great place to get some bigger waves. The bay here is curved, so if you run into any trouble, you'll pop out at the end of the beach and you can just have a scenic walk back. Um, the water is quite cold. This is the Atlantic Ocean after all, so definitely make sure you're wearing the appropriate thickness of wetsuit. And if worse comes to worse, there are lifeguards and a boat on duty throughout the summer for backup. Now, I love this kite spot so much. I have already been back twice this year and I'm already planning a trip back for next season. So what is your favorite kite spot? Like a place that you could go back over and over and still be stoked. Share it with us in the comments below. I would love to hear about your number one spot. Now, let's talk about everything you need to know to plan your trip to Vienna de Castello. So how do you get here? There are a couple of international airports close by. Um, the closest one is Porto, which is about an hour's drive. And then of course there's Lisbon, which is a four hour drive. Uh, the beauty of flying into Lisbon is you can access a lot of Portugal's kite spots from there. And we have included the link to our Lisbon area spot guide in the description of this video. So scroll down and check it out. A rental car is always a nice thing to have, especially on a kite trip to a place like Portugal, where there are so many kite spots that you can reach by vehicle. Here at Cabadello Beach, there is free parking, which is only a three to five minute walk from the kite beach, depending on how excited you are to get out. And this is one of the few kite spots that I've ever been to that you can actually do without a rental car. So they do have an amazing network of trains, buses, and ferries, which can get you to the kite spot if you feel like doing a trip on foot. For accommodation, there are plenty of options online, like hostels, hotels, guest houses, and Airbnbs and the price range will be anywhere from $20 a night for a dorm bed in a hostel, all the way up to 50 to several hundred for a hotel, depending on quality and availability. You can also camp here. So Orbiter Campground is on the beach at Cabadello, and it's a great place to go if you're gonna be kiting your whole trip. Whatever you do though, book your accommodation well in advance because this spot fills up very quickly in the summer months. Now when you're choosing where to stay, there's a couple good options. If you plan to be kiteboarding all day, every day, and want to be ready to go when the wind blows, stay at Cabadello Beach. But if you want to be surrounded by some culture and action, you can stay in the old city center of Viana de Castello. That's where I stayed and it was amazing to have all of the great restaurants, cafes, nightlife, and all of the culture and history you could ever want at your fingertips. Speaking of restaurants, there are so many amazing things and places to eat here in Vienna. So if you want to know more about that, you can check out the more detailed slot guide. Just click on the little eye in the corner to get there. There is so much to do here in Vienna de Castello, both on and off the water. There's surfing, stuffing, sailing, kayaking, kite surfing, wind surfing. The ocean is at the heart of Vienna. And if you are already at the kite beach and waiting for the wind to build, this is a great place to go and paddle in to catch some waves or go for a beautiful morning sup. You could easily spend a couple days just wandering the old city streets of Vienna. There's beautiful architecture, churches, cafes, shops, tons of history and culture. And up on the hilltop is Santa Lucia. Whatever you do, do not miss a walk or a hike or a drive or a cable car up to this spot to enjoy the incredible views. What else? There's wine tasting, horseback riding, motocross adventures, mountain biking, fat biking on the beach, and you can go hiking along some of the historical pilgrimage trails of the Camino de Santiago. And you can organize any of these ventures through Portugal Active. There are kite spots all over this beautiful world, but this is one of my favorites. It's this perfect combination of stunning nature, an incredible kite spot, a romantic historical city, and the people here are so kind and friendly, you will feel like one of the crew right away. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the next destination. And if you have any questions about kiteboarding in Vienna, leave us a comment below or reach out to me on social media. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time on Destinations.